Welcome everyone. I'm so happy to be introducing you to Misty Henkel. She's written a fabulous book called How to Go from No Sales to Sales and another great book also which is Overcoming Sales Anxiety. So Misty, thank you for being here with us. Thank you, Jane. I'm super excited to be here. And look, I'm going to cut right to the chase because my audience are people who are writing books to launch a business or they've already launched their business and it's not taking them in the direction they want. Now, oftentimes the missing link is that piece around sales. People don't want to think they're a salesperson. So I bet you've heard every story under the sun about why why wouldn't we want to be a salesperson? It's amazing how those who don't want to be a salesman will pull out like a 15-point PowerPoint as to why they're not a salesman and why are you selling this to me? But um, look, the problem with being a salesman or admitting that you're a salesman is really down the lines of sales anxiety. People suffer from sales anxiety for this reason. Stuff costs money. And because stuff costs money, we get anxious about it. So the truth is, is every single one of us holds some sort of emotion around money. We have it. We have had it. We've spent it, we've spent it wrong, we've sometimes spent it on good stuff, we don't have it, other people have what we want, we can't get it. We've been in jobs where we've paid a lot, we've been in jobs where we haven't been paid much. Um, you know, other people then give us their opinion of what we should and shouldn't spend it on. So we all have these thoughts and opinions around money so that when, as a salesman, the number one question you'll be asked as a salesman is, hmm, that's interesting, how much does that cost? And it freaks us out, right? Because it's like, oh, they're not going to like the price. But the truth is, it's not that the person doesn't like the price. I mean, they may not like the price. The truth is, is mostly we as consumers don't like spending money on anything. Doesn't mean we won't spend it. We just don't like spending money. <laughs> We'd rather have it for free, um, but stuff costs money. So what happens is when a salesman is asked, how much does it cost? They're like, oh my God, how are they going to react to the price? And so they get all anxious and their anxiousness comes out in the delivery of the price. So when the customer, so if the customer hears this, let's say my book, right? Here's my first book, my second book. Here's my fifth book, right? Overcoming sales anxiety, $30. How to go from no sales to sales in five easy steps, $30, right? If someone was to say to me, how much is it for your book? And I said, each book, $30. You go, hmm, I don't want to spend $30 on a book and I've got to spend it on two, Right. That's just a reaction that the person's going to make. They'll probably make that reaction, I want to spend $60, right? What happens is customer goes, oh, well, you see, the salesman, sorry, says, oh, well, you see, they're $30 each. And the customer says, yeah, I'm not spending that. Salesman says, see, they didn't like the price. No, it's not that they didn't like the price. They didn't like how you gave them the price. We as salesmen don't deliver the price easily because we're worried about their reaction to the price. But to the customer, it sounds like you don't believe in the price and you think it's too high. So now I shouldn't pay it. And so here's what I've learned from sales training. And it doesn't matter what sales training you've had. The majority of people who learn how to sell fail to sell. Ooh, so we're spending years trying to work. Interesting, isn't it? Because you can read a sales book and you should be able to sell at the end, but they don't, right? You can go to any sort of sales training and it will teach you how to sell, but you won't sell at the end. That's where sales anxiety, that's why people can't sell things, right? Is because the sales anxiety comes around, well, I don't think I would spend it on that. So how do I deliver that price to somebody else? When you turn the price into a thing, a fact, it's kind of like I say, think of price like the weather. I can convert someone in 10 seconds from sales anxiety. Think of it like the weather. Mm. We can look at the weather and go, I don't want it to be 38 degrees. It's not going to change for me. I have to fit in with that weather or be incredibly uncomfortable, just accept it is what it is, right? Price is exactly the same. Nobody likes the fact that stuff costs money, but the truth is, is they know it does. Mm -hmm. So when we salesmen learn to deliver the price, like how much is it for a book? $30. Right? And now the book can be sold because the customer now knows 
how much the book costs. Yes. And it wasn't explained to them. How easy or not easy is it, though, for people to get to that point where they're confident saying, you know, my coaching program is $2,000, let's say. It's called practice. You have to practice it. When it comes to selling, anything that you sell, it's a matter of fast tracking to that end result. Indeed. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you go, you know what, that's the price, take it or leave it. You know, as an author, you have to sell it. You can't just give it away and you can't let it be locked in the garage. Like you have to sell it. And ironically, you still have to sell a lot of them. This helps you become famous, by the way, particularly if you're a coach of some description, because you can end up with coaching sessions and things like that. Oh, but there's no question about that. Yes, yeah, I, I I one of my clients that. actually broke at half a million dollars worth of business out of strategically sending, he was a leadership coach, strategically mm -hmm. sending his book to the CEOs of the various companies that he wanted a foot in the door. And it is it's totally achievable. And then in that context, of course, you're not so worried about your 30 bucks for a book. But there is the principle around that. You, if you can't sell a book for $30, how can you sell coaching for more than mm. that? Well, this is like really. Because <laughs> you're going to have trouble anyway. But it's very rewarding when you sell the books in a pre-sale and then by the time it comes out, you go, well, I've already sold 120 copies. So if you want it or not, like you're already practiced in Absolutely. that you're loss of sales good. anxiety. Well, I've already been selling it at 30. So mm. I may as well keep it up now. And you'll have an attitude about it that that then the attitude is the confidence that I've done it already, which then breeds confidence that I can just keep doing it, can't I? Yeah, you can.